So I wanted to make a tutorial about bullet hits, uh, more specifically on a, a car. Um, but not just regular bullet hits. Um, you know, when a bullet hits the car, there's more that goes on a lot of times. Uh, there's usually like a dent. Uh, you know, it, it, sometimes the, the actual uh, fender or panel itself would uh, uh, m move a little bit. Uh, I might be over exaggerating on this over here, but I just wanted to demonstrate uh, the technique that I want to show. Uh, so, like uh, in this um, sample, you know, the bullet, when it hits the panel, uh, it does just more than just a regular hole. You know, it, it shakes the fender, the, the panel, and uh, creates a dent. The reflection changes. Uh, you know, all the good stuff. And more important um, about these dents is that it's all procedural. In other words, you know, you could take make a get a dent a uh, picture of a dent and composite it in but the way i created it it's procedural so that if i needed to uh, i could change the size of the dent i could change the shape of the dent. So yeah, well, let's get started on this. Before we get started, so like the bullet hole itself, I got, you can get these bullet holes for free. Um, if you go to uh, Action VFX, um, I think if you go to free VFX, I think somewhere, bullet hole textures, that's where it is. Uh, they'll give you a crap load of bullet holes for free. And check out their, their whole entire library. It's, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're going to break this down by first taking... Just take, let's take a look at that bullet. So this is one of the bullet holes. I'm gonna pre-malt it. All right, so you got that. I'm gonna just put that over our plate. Okay, and let's Put a transform node on it. Okay, and we can put a blur on. color correct it let's just take this color to the green channel Green, red. Okay. 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 So you could say, okay, there's your bullet hole, but you know, 
I mean, come on. A bullet hole is not going to just do that on a, on a fender. Okay. So let's beef this up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, in our pipeline, line, we're going to get a BUMP, a bump bus. And we're going to place it in there. And then in the A pipe, we're going to, we could actually just take this image just for the hell of it. Watch. And pump it into that. And then you can get a little. intent I want to beef it up a little bit let's put another gray note on beef up the you know more contrast you know we're basically adding contrast to the uh, alpha channel if you look at the alpha where you know we got that bullet that's you're just trying to beef that up a little bit okay so you could just you know like, uh, quick and dirty you could just take the bullet hole itself and use it as your alpha but that's your choice I like to use a roto node because I have better control over the shape and size by creating it the way I would like And uh, I put a blur on it. Could round it better. You know, make it whichever way you want, whichever the dent of your liking. Okay, now and we'll go back to the bump. Okay, so let's say for argument's sake that this was the dent okay we can also go the opposite way too we could raise this by doing this um, let me just make a copy of this keep it there for a second um what happened Sorry. Okay. So what we could do is we could take this, make it close. That, right? And then with the bump size, we can go into the positive. Okay. So now you can have it actually bumping out a little bit which is plausible as well. Okay, and then if you want to make that hole a little bit more. <sighs> yeah, I really bring it out. Okay, and then if you want, you can put another dent in it. You just have to take another bump, put it underneath. Use the other one that we originally had, which is this one. But then we're going to have to change it back to negative. And blur the 
shit out of it. You know, you can do something like that too. You know, so you have total control. And again, it's uh, by doing it this way, it's procedural. So you, you could change it as much as you like. Okay, and as far as the fender moving, you could just take a. I keep calling it a fender. It's really a back panel, I guess. You can get a grid or. Okay. And you could. Oops, sorry. And I guess at frame zero, you can start a keyframe on it. And then maybe, you know, a couple of frames, you could just push it in. Sorry, I should get sloppy here. And then maybe on the one frame out, you could just go back to the fall so you get that little get that little you know just a subtle shake when the hit hit you know and of course when the bullet comes in same thing you have to uh, what do we do here? We could just, with the boss, we could shut it off with the mix. So that the dents happen on impact there. Zero, zero, okay, and then you get that, actually, let me, what am I missing, oh, that's not, oh, <laughs> got to get rid of the bullet, so, okay, so right there, then we just take the bullet, where is it? Since it's in the B channel, oh no, it's the A channel. Okay. Keyframe that. Beautiful. There you guys, that so far. Okay. So if you look at a dent, right, on a car. You know, you'll have this, you'll have a line dividing it, and then it'll be like lighter on this side, darker on the other. Right? So, what we could do is we could take. Oh, what does I do? Sorry. Okay, so then what we could do is we could take a paint node. Uh, yeah brush is fine. We could, oops, we can sample a shadow color.
switch over to the pen. Oh, sorry. Where's my eraser? Yeah, I mean, you know, go nuts, All right? And of course, you can have control over. Basically, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You know, I just added the line shadowing, dense. And, you know, with a little finessing, you get a pretty decent hit. So, that's my. That's my method. 